Okay, I've gotten tons of DMs and requests on how to use Google Trends for prospecting. We're going to talk sports cards, stocks, and real estate, and also individual players. Um, I know most of you care about the sports card piece, and that's what you DM me about. At the end of this, um, if you still need a little bit of help, just DM me, Boston Card Hunter on Instagram, and uh, Sports Card Madness on YouTube. Just hit me up. I'm happy to uh, help you with more details. So here we are. This is the Google Trends homepage. The way you get here is by Googling Google Trends. <laughs> Super easy. This is actually a great place to get news from. It kind of tells you what's happening in the last 24 hours, week, month, 90 days, whatever you want to choose, really. And you can kind of flip through. Um, Powerball is big right now, right? So you've got the, the news channels for that. And then, boom, you can go right into them. So let's get into sports cards. I yanked 2004 to present. You can see that right here because Google existed in 2004. So that's all we have data for. So if you check out sports cards, you can see pretty much a slight decline. Let me do a little bump here all the way until November 2019 when we all heard about Zion and packs started getting expensive. And then a number of factors, COVID, lack of the ability to gamble, Zion, a little bit of everything. That all came into play here and it peaked in March of 2021. And since then, I'm gonna call this steady. Um, maybe a slight decline, right? So you can actually choose different parameters. So this is, five years, right? You can see a little bit better. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to call this steady. Um, it looks pretty much, it's definitely come down off the peak, but volume for that particular search term has changed. So there are some other cool things. This is the United States. You can choose global. I'll do that in a second. If you go down, it actually tells you pockets of geographies that the search is popular at. So we got South Dakota at number one, Wisconsin at number two, and it's funny, in the last five years, you can look at the stuff that's risen, right? Like Blaze Sports Cards. We all kind of know him. Jeff Wilson, a sports card investor. We got Market Movers. I haven't heard of Vortex, but obviously they're doing something right. Fanatics is booming. Tops is booming. Um, these are all considered breakouts, right? Like eBay in general. I don't know about this worthy thing. Um, but you can click on these and get a lot more detail and, and change them too. You can add them to the comparison. Um, so again, very powerful tool. You can actually compare it against different things. So just for fun, let's look worldwide. I don't know if it's gonna change much. Yeah, the world probably follows what the US does for sports cars as a whole, but not by category, which I will get into in a minute, a couple categories of opportunity. So really this isn't, you can't really use this for opportunity yet. This is just like a high level view of what's going on. <clears throat> All right. I did an overlay here, it's pretty cool. So you can see volume of different categories compared against each other. So baseball cards is blue, sports cards is green, hockey is yellow, uh, hockey is um, is red, sorry, and then um, soccer is yellow. So soccer and hockey, understandably, are lower volume searched in, in terms of cards. What is interesting here is people are defaulting to baseball cards instead of sports cards for searching, which kind of makes sense. They're the oldest, you know, like, like the, you think of the hobby, you think of like baseball cards back in the day, right? Um, and they kind of dominate, even though basketball in the NBA is, is maybe even uh, dominating now, but you can kind of see what people are searching for. And that that's interesting to me. Um, this also gives you another like little uh, pie chart almost. So you can look at Alabama and what uh, what the frequency is. You can break it down by state. You can even see this little like download here. You can get this information onto a spreadsheet, which is pretty pretty damn cool. I mean, you can pick it down by city too, which is wild. I'm gonna do that in a, in, in a bit for Caitlin Clark, which is pretty nuts. Um, so again, not a ton of opportunity here. I'm just showing you how things look at a high level, how this tool works, right? Um, you've got each of these, so soccer cards, panini, tops, etc sports cards they're all broken out by geography and so forth just for fun let's do city for hockey cards right yeah <laughs> not enough data so we're gonna have to do a bigger category for that let's do city for baseball cards <laughs> not enough data so that happens sometimes um anyway let's get into opportunity f1 racing okay look at this it has almost doubled and see these dots right here 
Google actually makes projections. And I will tell you, Google's projection is probably good as another man's fact. <laughs> so they are projecting F1 racing to go nuts in popularity, at least in the near term, um, which is interesting. So uh, just pay attention to that as I did a video on the hobby expanding internationally and a lot of that's gonna be driven by international stuff, right? Like soccer and F1 racing and, um, and other things. I mean, obviously basketball too, but um, this tells me that maybe F1 is a place to look at in terms of cards. Then for fun, I overlaid Lewis Hamilton with F1 racing and pretty interesting, right? So he's much more popular than the sport itself. And I'm gonna, yep, there we go. So number one place, Las Vegas, where you gamble, um, Nevada. Interesting. I wonder, you know, he's probably a popular pop culture figure. The people are probably searching like who he's dating. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I have no idea if he's dating Shakira, um, but that is the number one thing people are Googling with his name. So number one, two, three, four, then they're Googling it in Spanish. <laughs> and then they ask for Shakira's age. So I'm gonna guess, I don't know this, but I'm just gonna guess that he's dating Shakira based on this search. So there you go, I found something out today. Um, but again, if he's bigger than the sport and the sport's growing, I'd probably invest in his cards. Um, probably a safe bet. All right, soccer. Uh, last five years, same thing. I would say it has doubled, which is no joke, really. Um, maybe it's coming down a little bit, but uh, you know, that's another place, international expansion. Lots of interest. You've got a lot of goats over there. You got a lot of prospects over there, and uh, could be a cool place to see. Here's another prediction Google's done for us: WWE cards. Not a category I think of. I've got a friend that's into them. Um, he tells me the girls are the most popular. <laughs> I don't watch it. I used to when I was a kid, um, and uh, I don't know. It's not something I, I collect. But the uh, the growth here, kind of steady bump steady and then it's rising i think what google's doing here is predicting a little bit of a buzz after wrestlemania which i think is this weekend so um it's pretty cool i love it when there are projections because they're almost always right but we can probably zoom into this and uh oh my god this is so buggy the um sometimes it doesn't work but you can zoom in and probably see the um you know the the upward trend a little bit better so caitlin clark Look at this. This is when I would have bought her cards. If you were really searching, um, I would have done it in February or March of 22. She might not have even had cards though. That's that's actually not really a valid point. Um, but, you know, before this madness, <laughs> before this spike, I'd say anything between, anything from September 23 and back was probably a safe time to buy. This is just, um, her stuff is gonna go nuts. I, I, Google hasn't even done a projection, but um, I mean, I mean, just look at the year here. Okay, this is a little bit of a decline. Obviously, she either wins or doesn't tonight, um, and that's probably hard for Google to predict a binary outcome like that. But this is a very, this is just very compelling stuff. Whenever her cards were released, um, if you were into women's sports and you saw a little bit of noise here, a little bit of noise here, it's just a very cool, cool track. So. Guess where the number one searches are? Iowa. Big surprise there. Um, what's just, what's really surprising to me is just all the boyfriend stuff and dating stuff. <laughs> but I guess that's what makes the internet move, right? Um, so they're Googling her, you know, her boyfriend, and that's much more important than her breaking the scoring record. Ice Cube, I have no idea what that's about. Um, I'm probably sounding very ignorant, but it's, it's pretty funny. And, uh, you know, see if I can get into the cities. Yeah, there you go. Look, look at all these cities where her searching is popular. It's like right around Iowa. So pretty cool. Uh, I mean, you can really geek out on this thing and just go crazy. You can compare her against another woman player. Um, you can compare her against Victor Womanyama and who's more popular. Um, matter of fact, let's do that. <laughs> who's more popular right now in the last 12 months for Google searches? Not even close. Well, ah, Wembenyama had it until March Madness and then forget it. She's in like a stratosphere right now. I mean, she'll be on all the talk shows and everything. So sorry, Wemby. Um, 
you're taking a back seat at least for a few months but there you go women's sports right so now you want to invest in women's sports potentially all right stocks okay everybody remembers the amc craze check this out just bubble bubble this is a classic bubble shape by the way you rise the dead cat bounces look up dead cat bounce you'll see what i'm talking about um and then keeps going. There's another like final rally and then you've got your permanent decline. Happened with tulips, happened with, with um, all true bubbles that aren't like, you know, asset based. Here's where you wanted to invest and I guarantee you some of the Wall Street guys are watching Google Trends here, or had their analysts do it. Um, right around here, there was some noise on Reddit, May, to, May 2020. That's when you buy, boom, that's when you sell. This is all based on timing. Obviously, um, it's not a perfect system, but it's a fun place to see what's happening. And I mean, you can see the related stuff, right? Like Dogecoin, and, um, Tesla, you know, ape stocks and meme stocks. And it's just, it was, I don't know. It's a really, it was a really cool time for human behavior. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, same thing with GameStop, same thing. You didn't get that second bounce here, but you did have the dead cat, dead cat bounce right at the bottom. Um, probably would have bought right here. I know some friends that did, they bought new cars. <laughs> They had a good time. I don't mess with this stuff. I'm a very boring index investor. Um, but you can use this to uh, look at what's going on with different stocks. Real estate. Um, you know, I worked for uh, several companies as a consultant. The uh, Starbucks, for example, they look at Google Trends to, to decide on where to place Starbucks stores. They look at zip code data for income and then interest. So this is Nashville, Tennessee. LZ just went out there last week, told me it was great, it's booming. Um, I mean, look at this, people are interested, right? And I bet you this this marries up with the population growth. Um, there might be a bit of a lag, people search where you're gonna live, and there might be other searches, what they're interested in in Nashville, like just going there for fun. But as a whole, Nashville looks like it's rising. Maybe there's a slight decline now over the, the last year or two. Um, but again, good data, I guarantee you, you could probably look up Starbucks, and a lot of them probably opened in the mid 2000s in Nashville and other places that, that cater to a growing population. You know, everything, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, all that stuff. Um, so pretty cool tool. You can compare it against other cities too, like good old Boston, where I'm from, right? Definitely not as high growth. Boston's almost in a, we hate the weather, slight decline. <laughs> People are more interested in the term, but that's not saying anything, right? So, um, you know, people could be Googling Boston for a number of reasons, but this tells you, I mean, look at Nashville, right? It's like Zillow, Craigslist, you know, moving, stuff like that, houses for rent, Airbnbs to visit. This place, um, I also did research for Airbnbs for a while. This is a fantastic tool for that. Uh, if you see that like, you know, Airbnb Nashville is breaking out. You hit that and just explore it, right? Like, phew, you wanted to buy some Airbnbs in 2016. I was looking at them in 2017, in a few different categories. I did not look at Nashville, but um, again, lots of opportunity here. Not just sports cards, you can, <laughs> just for like life, right? Um, but we'll go back, we'll finish this off with sports cards. And, you know, everybody's expecting the hobby to 10x right they want fanatics to 10x it look at this chart in the, over the last 20 years does this look like a 10x chart to you no um does it look like a 3x chart yes that's that's pretty friggin amazing um it had it 3x at the peak it's down to about i'm gonna call it 2x from 20 years ago and i do think it will double again in the next five years so you'll probably get like a little bit of a you know, a growth, growth curve here. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Uh, I tried to keep it to 15 minutes. Uh, please hit me up if you have any questions or you want to figure out how to use search terms. Happy to help anybody out there. Um, this is super fun. You can geek out on this like all day long on different terms. You can search your own name, um, but it's a way for you to, if you're going to prospect on players, search for them. If you're going to prospect on cities, research them here. Um, stocks, same thing. It's all part of the public noise that you can use to your advantage. It's free and um, why not check it out? All right. Thanks everyone.